Um, it's definitely really surreal, like walking around and all these big dogs are walking into the nets and padding up and bowling. Like, it definitely feels like, is this really happening? It was definitely one of the best competitions I've been a part of, and I definitely had so much fun playing it on and off the field, and I definitely learned plenty of things, and just was so grateful for the experience and the opportunity to be part of such a great league. Uh, yeah, it was definitely like, it's obviously all those stats and stuff looks very good and the success, but it's obviously not just one person behind it, it's definitely all the captain, the coaches and the senior players in the squad that have been really helpful and even Bill were behind the stumps, all those players contribute to it. Um, it's definitely really surreal, like walking around and all these big dogs are walking into the nets and padding up and bowling. Like it definitely feels like, is this really happening? Especially because I'm so young and I've been watching them play international series, IPL, Big Bash. So definitely very surreal, but it's also very helpful for me, I reckon, going in, just training, bowling with them, doing everything with them and learning what they do and all the one percenters. Um, well, one percent is basically like the really small detail stuff that basically summarizes the big stuff that you're obviously working towards, like getting them out, could be like the big, and then all the one percent of all the plans, the little field settings that you do just to fit around with the batsman or specific strengths they have so you set more fielders in that area or just like those small little words or time you take or you talk to the keeper about that one specific ball that might just change the batsman's routine or rhythm. So I reckon those little one percenters, even their plans with the coach just before the game, talking to him what the batsman's strength, what he might do, how you're going to bowl to him in that game. Those real one percenters are massive for me and that's what I've been trying to work on during the big bat. So I reckon that's been huge for me those small one percenters of planning and understanding analyzing the batsman but that's been the main focus for me throughout the big bash and that's also what i'll try and do while i'm here talking obviously zamps and ash Nager. i was talking to ash today about when he was bowling the nets and like his plans and what he thinks about when he's bowling to certain batsmen or when they're going hard or when you're looking to take wickets aggressive defensive all these chats i reckon they're like invaluable and especially at a young age, I can really helps me. 100%, yeah, I'm keen to see the 45, 50 metre boundaries at Eden Park as well. <laughs> um, I have the Shadow. I've had it for a year and a bit now, and I've really enjoyed it. I really like the stickers, and especially the whole kit. It's really all around well, and the display and the way it's presented, I really love it, especially the way, how I use it. <laughs> Even though I didn't get to bat the whole, didn't get to use it the whole season in BBL. <laughs> I just really like the way, like the pickup, and obviously I'm not very like build looking like Stoinis or Maxi, so it's very lightweight, which really helps me with my swing and the way I bat. So it's a really lightweight and the nice pickup it has is very good. Well, I just played it as any other normal kid would. I played soccer in winter, played cricket in summer. And then as I start, when I actually started bowling leg spin around when I was 13, that's when I really got into cricket, started watching it more and started training, playing more. And that's when I got a bit more serious about actually thinking of playing it as a career-wise or just thinking of playing it more seriously, taking it more seriously. No, not really. That's why cricket near never really got me when I was younger. I never really watched it that much, didn't really have that much passion for it. But I definitely when I started buying leg spin, started watching a lot of leg spinners and started watching a lot of YouTube videos on it and started just absorbing the information or when someone would play and they would have leg spinners in it, like Zamps or Rashid, Adu Rashid, anyone, um, Yuzi Chaho, I would start watching them and how they bowl, what they bowl, all their variations and then try and do it myself in the nets and whatever worked for me I would and keep and whatever did and I'm just like that. I really do. I was waiting for the PS5 but I didn't get it so I, was, I love COD so I would have played that but I haven't got that so I've been binging on a new Netflix show everyone's been telling me to watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine and it's actually really good and, and I love my sleep so I love getting 10 to 12 hours of sleep every day and learning and just being part of the group just asking questions and just being part of the experience and obviously if I get the opportunity to try and take it as much as I can and do my best out there to help the team win.